What's up, Aries? So, like I said, your second bonus reading for your birthday month that had just passed. So, um, I thought it was business that you guys had as the second most wanted bonus, but it was actually life purpose. Uh, so, that's really incredible. So, let's see what is going on here. Now, again, this is a general reading, guys, and each of you are different individuals, but it'll be a sense of what you guys may have struggled with, you know, in the past just as a whole. Um, and if you guys do want this personally done for you, then you can go ahead and get a 10, 20, or 30 minute reading, just depending on how deeply you want me to go into it, okay? So let's see what is going on. All right. So I'm going into Aries' past life. Who is the overall person that they were? And I'm just going to go freehand on this, guys. I'm not going to necessarily follow um, any sort of spread. So let's see what's going on. Describe who Aries was overall as a person. So let's pull three cards here. Okay. So from what I'm seeing for a lot of you, especially within love, um, a lot of you could have had a lot of struggle when it came to love in your past life. Um, I see a sense of being, um, you know, in a place where there could have been a lot of illusions, a lot of struggle. You have the seven of cups here. So really just trying to find a way to navigate through a lot of things that could have been happening. Um, and with the Six of Wands, although there was a lot of adversity here, I feel that overall you guys were successful. You guys made things happen. You guys, you know, um, made a life for yourself. You provided for your family, did what you had to do. Um, but with the King of Cups in the reverse, there could have been a lot of emotional instability. Um, maybe you guys dealt with someone that really, really broke your heart. So you really had to evolve to um, another level. So this could have been you at a more primitive sense because... For every sign, there's going to be different um, levels. I don't want to say maturity, uh, but different soul levels. You can have low vibrational areas. You can have high vibrational areas. Okay, so uh, you definitely could have been at a lower vibration due to some stuff that was going on with you um, in the past, especially if it's with love, because I see something really tough that you guys could not take anymore that you gave up on. Um, with the King of Swords, something that you really felt... Uh, you have to cut out and something that was very burdening. Three of Cups in the reversal could have been a third party situation with someone that you really loved, but maybe it just didn't work. All right. So um, you could have had a very grand love, but that could have ended very painfully for some of you. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Six of Wands here? Why is this King of Cups here? So the good thing is that you guys were extremely intuitive, where although somebody may have been trying to put a lot of illusions in front of you, or maybe you did this to them, you knew what was up. You knew what was going on with the high priestess. So it was a sense of your soul knowing what had to be done, okay? And you may have gotten victory by dropping this person or dropping whatever problem this was. And if there was anybody here that did cause you any sense of harm, it's like you withdrew from it, whether you were the person who, um, you know, was the catalyst to it or this other person was. Um, so despite everything, guys, I see you being very strong. With the Five of Cups in the reverse and the Knight of Swords, you are able to cut out and get over something that could have been very toxic, the Devil card. Um, and I love that because, Aries, you guys are the pioneers of the Zodiac. So I feel that you guys are very strong notes. So if you're in a place now where maybe you're going through something difficult with love or just difficult with a person in your life, um, in your past life, you could have very, you know, very much been a very strong person, okay? So remember that that's where you could be coming from. All right, so let's see what your soul purpose was in your past life. It was Aries' soul purpose, soul purpose in their last life.
I actually see this as very beautiful, guys. <laughs> I feel like in your past life, you went through things that were very, very difficult. But your sole purpose was not only to get out of it and do big things on your own, but to also spread that and to help others see that same possibility. Um, now, you have the magician in reverse where there could have been things that you couldn't manifest. Or maybe there's people that were manipulative in your life. And you put a halt to that. It's like with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, you're thinking, look, this isn't right. This is something where we have to find another way to get through this. It doesn't have to be with love, guys. It could be with just social structure, with the way society did something. Um, maybe you were part of somewhere where they married people off very young or you're somewhere that maybe women couldn't be taught. Things like that. You know, you could have been a, a political uh, person that made a lot of change, but there was something that just wasn't working. There was a lot of adversity. There was a lot of chaos, people being abusive of their power, or being fake about their true intentions, things that you saw as a waste of time and effort, things that wouldn't help people to move forward if they're trying to grow, okay? So there's things that you felt like you needed to leave in the past, things that you had to end, things that just was not making things balanced, and you brought conformity, you brought this sense of, I don't want to say conformity, you brought this sense of togetherness, the sense of resiliency, the sense of, no, there's a better way. So when you guys, when I say that you guys are pioneers, I really, really feel that you did something strong to change because um, there's something that wasn't going right. And then here you have the hanged man where you really thought outside the box and you could have taken some time to kind of be apart from everything, um, you know, and think, you know, how do I get past this? How do I move forward to something that's going to be more solid? How can society grow in a better way? What's a better way to fix this or to go about this? All right. And anything that was very harsh, you guys put an ending to it. Whether it have been in your own life or in your community. And you expanded. You showed people a new way, a new start, a full card. All right. So there was something here that you did not want to move forward with. But with the world card in the verse, it's not necessarily something that you fixed overnight. But you had that victory. You had that independence. You had that sense of. Um, knowing what was right, being strong behind your word, but you could have lost a lot on the way, and maybe that's why you had troubles in your relationships. Um, it doesn't have to be just intimate. It could have just been with anybody, maybe because they weren't up to speed with you. So if you ever feel like, you know, there's times in your life where uh, you really want to do something, you think it'll be great, but there's just people around you that don't understand, uh, it's not your first time dealing with it. Um, so I feel like you guys made movements forward for the better. Um, but I don't feel like people always agreed with what you had to do. So let's see what was your biggest struggle in the past. The biggest thing that you guys had to overcome. Your biggest struggle is something that you had to lose against, the, you know, on the way. I feel like while you guys were on your pioneering movements, um, you know, while you were doing all these trailblazing things, um, there's someone that you lost. There's someone that just didn't understand this, okay? And I feel like that was your biggest regret. That was your biggest hurt. There's part of you that felt debilitated because you wanted a reconciliation with this person. And... It was tough because you couldn't have yourself moving forward and being powerful and having this at the same time. So I feel like that's what a big thing was. You guys did something big in your past life, um, but you just weren't able to have that person back. Okay, there, there was a relationship that you lost due to your um, innovative ideas, due to how you wanted to move forward. I just think that you were ahead of your time, and I feel like it was very um, unconventional, whatever you wanted to do or seemed unconventional at that time, okay, but I feel like you guys are definitely um, 
you know, still living in that where you could be like that in your life now, where you're constantly ahead of the ball game and people don't understand and you don't necessarily want to slow down to help others understand. It's just like, no, this is what I have to do. And I just have this big urge to do it. So I don't want to fight it. Um, and it's so funny because this is a recent story. And I don't know why I'm thinking about this, but I'm going to, you know, share it with you guys. Um, but I saw a video, I think it was on Facebook or an article that I read. And, um, and I forget what country, I want to say India, but, uh, there's a country where a lot of women could not, um, they could not afford, uh, you know, personal hygiene things. They couldn't afford, you know, tampons or pads. So this guy, he found a way to make it super, super inexpensive and to make it accessible to everybody. But he spent months, you know, trying to find the right materials, trying to put the right thing together. And, you know, that's, you know, that's considered taboo for a man to be really into things like that or to really want to expand in that way, wherever he was from. So what happened was he lost the love of his life. She just couldn't deal with it. So she ended up leaving him. Um, and then a few months later, this guy becomes like a millionaire because he figured out a way and he made this affordable um, access to, you know, he, he provided an affordable access to hygienic products for women. So it was just something where it's like you did something so big, but you lost someone. And, you know, I don't think that he ever went back to that. And I probably wouldn't either. Someone didn't believe in me. But, yeah, it could have just been something like that where you had to lose something very important to you in the process. Okay? So, Aries, I love you guys. I hope that you guys had an amazing birthday time. And I hope that all of you are well. Take care, guys.